Bulletproof Radio, a state of high performance. Do you think we're going to get to the point where you look at your genes or you look at your gut bacteria or some mix of markers from the blood and go, oh, for you, you should do X amount of fasting or this is your ideal eating window. Is that even conceivable? Oh, it's very much conceivable. And I think no more than five year, uh, five year uh, ahead of us, uh, five years ahead of us. So yeah, absolutely. Um, that's going to be, that's already done for, you know, should you eat this or that? Um, and so I will imagine soon enough, we'll have enough data uh, associating or correlating a, a certain profile uh, of microbiota with the, uh, the response or lack thereof to fasting. So we're already collecting this, for example, for uh, multiple sclerosis trial, we're collecting microbiota. The cancer trial, we're collecting microbiota. The um, Alzheimer trial, we're collecting uh, microbiota. Uh, so yeah, we uh, the IBD trial. I'm sure uh, we're also doing that. So I think it's just a matter of time before we have enough data that we can say the non-responders happen to have this profile. Um, you know, and and at some point, I think artificial intelligence is going to have to uh, help us do it because it's just going to be lots of data that are extremely difficult to uh, to analyze the classical way. Are there private companies that you've seen that are working on on that problem, or is this all university and government funded? Uh, I know I don't want to mention the name of the company because I don't know if they, they want me to mention it, but I know even years ago we were approached by a private company uh, looking for the data. So I will assume there are many already that are looking at intermittent fasting, periodic fasting, et cetera, et cetera, and, uh, and they're starting to collect data that eventually they will analyze. Uh, um, to distinguish the, the responders from the non-responders. Well, I'm looking forward to that day. I would love to be able to sit down and look at someone's you know, stack of hormones and thyroid and everything else, plug it into an AI engine and say, you know, eat for X amount this day and maybe even what to eat. And I, I know there's a bunch of people working on it. So I was hoping you'd tell us the coolest ones, but I understand there's uh, NDAs in place it, and all. Yeah, no, and I don't know if they have, I don't think they have it as a service yet, right? So I don't think they're at the point that uh, that they can make, that they can uh, give it to the public. So, uh, yeah. So that's the main reason why I don't want to mention it. If okay. I knew it was uh, publicly available, I would mention it. But I, I, I'm not sure. I don't think it is. Actually. I, I get it. Yeah. Don't 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 throw a company in hot water with thousands of people calling them all at once right. <laughs> when you can't buy what they have. But when when you know, send me a note and I'll I'll 